I do this on my back and elbow, all right? You know, if you have like your knee right here, it's going to make it a little bit hard for me to get the, uh, the underhook so there's a little bit of space, okay? I'm sliding down, and I'm just trying to get his hand on the outside of his thigh. The coach wants to be proud of you right here to do this. All you're going to do is pin his hand to the mat. Next one. That way. Okay. You want a triangle here, it's going to make the shrimp a little bit harder. It's really a preference thing. Just understand what he's, he might try to do is turn to his side and get that. See how his back is up off the floor right here? We're just going to go and hunt for our feet. Well, normally he's doing what? He's on his feet, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to try to just use this one hand here. Hold his hand in. One hand doing all the control. Okay. So now I've got his arm in a bind. It makes his bridge that way very challenging because every time he does, his arm is in trouble, you see? So he's not going to really want to explode that way. And he's also kind of always thinking like his, his arm's in trouble right here. So it's a good hold down and, and kind of, kind of a, uh, a submission threat at the same time. My knee is going to be here, but it wants to be tucked in and facing that way. My hand's going to start to work. I'm going to start to start opening them up here. I want to make a big back step. Okay, and then I change my base, and then I come back into what? The Kimura. Now you could go right for it, that way, or you could hunt for the one that we just did here. Sitting down, and finishing like so. So, okay, half guard, knee on the top of his thigh, actually like squashing it down and keeping your elbow in. So try to get your underhook from there. So it's kind of hard. You've got to keep some space here in the wrist. And there's a nice space there. Okay. Sit. I'm going to feed it. That's my control. If you get really stuck here, one little trick is to put your knee on this and kick back. But a lot of times that's not necessary. A lot of times you can just stay in here and shake it off. Big back step, and as I change, I'm coming and hunting for that wrist again. We're right back into our scenario. Fold it, and then there's your, your situation we just practiced. It's a pretty simple idea, okay?